graphing checklist. Before you make a graph, if you have any doubt on what you need to have on your graph to get full credit, refer to this video. So here I have my x-axis and my y-axis. So you think first, which goes on which axis? So hopefully you remember, <laughs> hopefully you remember which variable has to go on the x-axis. It's either the independent or dependent variable. Which one do you think it is? If you think it's independent variable, you are correct. So independent variable goes on the x-axis, and then the dependent variable goes on the y-axis. Dependent variable depends on the independent variable. Okay, whatever the independent and dependent variables are, you're going to have to include units. So let's say the independent variable is, was measured in centimeters. You better have cm right there. Whatever the dependent variable is, you have to have some form of unit. If you do not have your labels or you don't have your units on your variables, you will lose points. Okay. The other thing is you have to think about what a good title would be. Um, the only acceptable titles for a scientific graph relate the independent and dependent variable together. The most elementary way to do this is to write whatever the independent variable is versus the dependent variable. A more advanced way to write it would be the effect of the independent variable on the dependent variable or some version of that, whatever fits to whatever you're doing. Okay. A few other things. Um, one thing you need to make sure that your scaling is right. So you have increments here. Your increments need to be measured with the ruler and they need to be equal. So you want to have it scaled out right so you can see your data well. You don't want to have your x-axis all crunched up right here and then you're not going to be able to see the trend. Same thing with the dependent variable. So you have your units measured out evenly. Um, the best way to do that is to look at your data, pick the lowest point to the highest point, lowest point to the highest point, and then space it out in between that evenly. Um, and if you scale it out correctly, you should be able to see some nice trend in your data, whatever type of graph it may be. If one of the variables is scrunched, you're not going to see whatever trend you're supposed to see. So make sure you have that spaced out well. I think that's everything, so good luck on your graph.